Hi there, it's Black Bright broadcasting out the UK. Welcome to my channel. And yes, this is the light-hearted side of Black Bright News. And I am just going to do a quick chat about Love Island, the dark side of Love Island, and what happened this evening, being Friday night. Now, I think the first thing that caught our eye was Connor's reaction to Sophie. Do you think it was justified? I mean, when you think about how she was saying it, would you like to be sitting next to your fella and him describe a woman that's just walked into the villa, say, in such detail? So I know she's winding him up and I'm not even justifying his behaviour. But is he oversensitive? Is he a potential bunny boiler? Is he, does he wear his heart on his sleeve? Is he the type of person that you have to be careful that he might knock your lights out if you're not careful. You see the type of person who would just go over the edge. I mean, I understand that they're in a confined space and emotions are really high, but nobody else reacts like that. I think she really needs to look at the red flags because when somebody explodes like that, I mean, to be honest, it's a difficult one because on the one hand, I can kind of understand where he's coming from. And on the other hand, you know, I can understand Sophie, but like, she, you know, she keeps winding him up and I'm not quite sure. And I mean, she was winking and stuff like that, but pff, I don't know. I, to be honest, I thought it was a bit disrespectful. I mean, I think you can wind your, your fellow up in lots of different ways. And we have to say fella for want of a better word, because when they're coupled up like that, I mean, they weren't in a couple then, but she has chosen him. You know, um, I think there is a certain amount of respect. And she could have just said, you know, oh, they're two nice boys, you know, I had a good time. But I think to go into such detail, and which shows that she studied them and noticed them, and then to kind of say in front of him, yeah, he is a bit oversensitive. And, you know, I'm not quite sure if he's got the makings of a control freak or what, but... It didn't go down too well. But one thing I do like about it is that they do tend to talk it out. I'm not quite sure if they resolve it, but I think she should watch the signs. These are the kind of things that you dumb down and you make excuses for. And then down the line, you realise this isn't this isn't healthy. Because a lot of times we've seen behaviours that we dumb down. We kind of say, oh, you know, he's just getting a little tempo. And you start even questioning yourself whether or not you're in the wrong. You know what I mean? When you see somebody flare up like that, you even start questioning yourself. So you've got to be careful in situations like that. And I think that is where she's at. She's not quite sure whether she's justified in reacting and then forgiving or what. But pff, I don't know. The guy seemed to think that, you know, he is a bit sensitive. But where's the borderline? I think what he could have said, to, instead of storming off, is, look, I don't really appreciate um, you talking about those guys. Or give her a taste of her own medicine. And because she probably doesn't realise what it feels like. So maybe he should start talking about Rebecca or one of the other girls and see so she can get a feel of what it feels like. Because, I mean, she soon jumped on him when he went off for a date with Rebecca. So she does know. Anyway, so that's Connor, one, and Sophie. Now, what else is there? Didn't I tell you about Connor with the G? <laughs> that Luke T. <laughs> Come from Luton. Oh, man, he is just a cheeky chappy, honestly. I mean, Shanice's face. <gasps> She's going to have a talk with um, Rebecca. But the thing is, like Rebecca says, you have to go where the spark is. And as much as Connor with a G is good looking and is tall, he hasn't got no vavoom, has he? He hasn't got no vavoom. That guy, um, Luke T, he's got a bit of vavoom. I'm not even sure whether they'll hit it off fully. But, yeah, he, you know, he's, he's nice. And the fact that he picked um, Leanne, I thought that was pretty good as well because it made Mike think about, hmm, maybe I do like Leanne. And to have somebody come in and actually pick her, that was nice. 
So, um, yeah, so we got that and um, it was nice that Leanne reassured Mike and so he feels in a good place and yeah, I think that part is really, really good. Um, what else apart from the red flags? Um, oh, Luke T has got balls, has not he though? He's really got balls because, I mean, for him to just go over to um, Leanne and say, look, I'm going to take you out in front of Mike. Ah, oh, Mike is not going to like him at all. But I love his balls, you know. Yeah, he's really good. And what else? And then he went for Rebecca. And as soon as him and Rebecca, I knew that she was going to pick him for the recoupling. I just knew it. Shanice is not happy. And you see how, what goes around comes around a woman scorned. They say there's nothing like a woman scorned. And you see Connor with the G. Told you yesterday he should have kept his bloody mouth shut. He shouldn't have listened to those guys. Went and told you he's more interested in Rebecca. And look, if he hadn't have done that, he would have been okay with Shanice. Tell you in Love Island... It's not worth it. You just don't know how it's going to pan out. You do not know how it's going to pan out. Who would have thought Connor with the G would get booted out tonight? That's the way the cookie crumbles. Um, Luke, the, the Justin Bieber lookalike, they call him. Fancy Paige. Um, I don't think he fancies Jess. You know, as much as Jess is a nice girl, I mean, somebody really needs to tell her that she doesn't have to have it all hanging out, honestly. And the eyelashes and the red lipstick. and She's only 19, I think. Honestly, she just slaps it on. And she really, and she looks so pretty without all that gunk on her face. She's really a pretty girl. But I don't know what it is why some of these women think that they have to dress like that. I mean, she couldn't even bloody sit down. The dress was so short and all the boobs are hanging out. And I probably sound like an old fuddy-duddy. But you know what? I just said, uh, well, not really, because the other girls don't look like that. I just think, you know, she needs someone to tell her um, how to dress. And mind you, I guess those are the clothes she bought into the villa with her. And I guess that's what she used to wearing. I mean, maybe she feels as though she has to look sexy. But it's not even sexy, really. She just looks like a Barbie doll. And I know that that um, guy she picked, Luke M, he's not going to stay with her. His eyes are going to, as soon as somebody else comes into the villa, he's gone. And what's his name? Finley, he better keep on his toes now. I think those two have got a connection though, but he better keep on his toes because Paige is looking. But yeah, I don't think she's going to leave Finley. I think she, I think she really likes Finley. And I mean, that Justin Bieber lookalike, I mean, he doesn't do it for me. He hasn't got no pizzazz. So now, who are the decent guys in the villa at the moment? Um... Of course, we've got Luke T. I think he's a sort, as they say. Um, yeah, I think he'll add some spice to the villa. And who else is there? Calamy's coming out of his shell a bit, so he's all right. Ah, Finley. Finley's got a bit of gumption. Connor, we can't do without Connor and his little temper tantrums. But yeah, I think we've got some good people in the villa. I think we've got some good people. Um, one, another red flag is, do you notice when, um, Sophie calls Connor for a talk, it's not the first time, he doesn't want to go through it, he doesn't want to talk about it, it's like he brushes it off, okay, you know, said you're sorry, yeah, let's leave it, but they're not talking it through, that's not a good sign, it's like he wants to brush it off, dumb it down and forget about it, he needs to address the situation. Because you cannot continue like that. It is going to get out of hand at some point. And he does have some serious issues with his temper 
and he doesn't want to talk about it. So when she's calling him to one side and saying, look, you know, I think you're oversensitive. She didn't say it in a derogatory way. She said it very, very nicely. And he's going, oh, look, I, I'm not, I don't want to talk about it. Let's forget it. Let's forget it. But there's nothing wrong with talking about it. That's how you build the relationship. And then when he goes and talks to the guys and they're saying, you know, you are oversensitive. He's like, really? Really? He listens to them. And the one he's supposed to be coupled up with and he wants to have a relationship with, he's not listening. So, you know, don't know if that's going to go anywhere. Um, yeah, Rebecca Sport, they're recoupling for Shanice by choosing Luke T. But I mean, anybody would be a fool not to um, pick Luke T. I mean, he's got such spice to him. He's got really a nice, um, something nice about him. Something really super cool about him. And I, Leanne even liked him. So Mike had better keep on his toes. Yeah, so um, Connor with a G put all his eggs in Rebecca's basket and she cracked everyone. And booted him to the curb. Like I said, revenge is sweet because Shanice, she just picked Maz. And she must have got so much joy in doing it. Did you see her face? So much joy. And he must have felt like crap. Anyway, that's all I've got to say about Love Island. So now we've got to wait until all the way till Sunday. And yeah, have a great weekend, peeps. That's all for now. Bye-bye.